Hello, I'm Millie, the Deputy Digital Editor here at Harper's Bazaar, and today we are at one of the most nostalgic spots in Dubai, Safa Park, ahead of the Dior Circus Theme Couture Show. We've been given exclusive backstage access, so let's go and chat to none other than Creative and Image Director of Dior Makeup, Peter Phillips. Um, so the inspiration behind the look of this show, it's, uh, it's a combination between funk and Piero. That's it, so it's um, there's a circus team, hence the Piero, and then there's a bit of a, an attitude, that's why there's a bit of funk. Very natural skin, um, I used the uh, backstage face and body foundation, and then uh, I framed the eye with a black eyeliner, um, uh, the onstage liner in black matte black coal liner in the eye, a bit of black mascara on the roots of the lashes just to blend in the liner with the, the lashes. And uh, the shape is like a framing of the eye, a little bit of a Pierrot uh, vertical point. Well, it's actually a fragment of a clown makeup and, uh, and it's not exaggerated. Um, the context is also different, you know, the girls walk, the cat walk, they don't do a circus performance. And, um, and that's how you yeah, keep it in context of what it's used for. It's a catwalk look. I won't consider it as a, a, a look to walk, to, you, to wear in your daily life. But uh, for the catwalk, it's great. It's like, a, yeah, it's, it's, it sends out a message of irony, because there's a piero, but at the same time, it sends a message of punk, because there's a, a hardness to it. I, I think it blends in perfectly with the makeup, the, the face nets, it's actually, uh, it becomes part of the makeup and the eye, that's also why the eye is a little bit harsh, so it kind of leads through the face makeup, uh, the face nets and uh, it, it blends it, it blends in, at the end of the day, the face net also, it's like a very classical, uh, almost like um, madame kind of a head accessory, but by twisting it and combining it with a punk attitude, uh, you give it a new identity and the same with uh, the Pierrot makeup, you know, but we twist it a little bit and it becomes something else than just a clown makeup. Well, we are really good in lipsticks and um, I mean, I, I'm, uh, for a classic lip color and lip shade which is long lasting, of course Rouge Dior. Now we got Stella Shine that comes out which is like a little playful gem with a, uh, it's an amazing lip balm lipstick with a spectacular makeup result. And uh, so for now I go for uh, the Oradix Stella Shine. So another one of my favorite is um, the Lash Maximizer. And I combined with all your pump and volume, all your uh, um, overcurl, um, gives great lashes. Um, that everybody really embraces glow. Everything which is glowing, that is luminous skin, uh, luminous eye makeup, a luminous, luminous lip. And that's something which I think is, 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 is um, a, a step forward of all the experimenting we've been doing the last few years with shading and highlighting and metallics and, and, and extreme makeups. We found the balance, women found, women found the balance on how to appreciate and work really with glow. Um, well, I do, I mean, I'm a big fan and it's new, but it's, it's an amazing foundation. We've got the, the Forever um, foundation in the matte finish and in the glow finish. And it's pearl, it's a gem, it's really a gem. The shades are amazing, it's long lasting and um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. Now one that I really love because it was so subtle and at the same time unexpected is one that I did a few years ago. I think it was a haute couture show where um, the whole venue was like an, an arena uh, where the, the walls were white flowers. It was like a mirrored wall with white flowers coming out and I, did, I created a, a mirrored eyeliner. And um, it, it was very subtle, it was a classic element but with the sharpness of a, of a cutting knife. And you didn't really see anything except when the st girls started blinking. It just was like flashlights of a mirror reflection. And that was very beautiful. That was very pure, very harsh, very uh, punk at the same time as it was delicate. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show.